I'm Lady Asuka and today we have a new entry in our quick tip series. Let's make some earrings in V-Ride. We start in V-Ride and this is a good moment to explain some things about the overall hair section. This hairstyle is from Booth and was loaded into overall hair but that doesn't mean we can't add anything to it. Some of the bottom categories like sides for example are actually combinable with overall hair. And that means we could create our earrings here, for example. We click Create New at the top left and then Edit Hairstyle at the top right. The first thing we always need to do is adjust our green hair mesh. And the idea is that we want a flat surface area close to the ears so we can add the earrings. The easiest way to make earrings would be to just draw hair on the ear region, like so. But surely you want something a bit more detailed or intricate and so we want to add some hair that we have to flatten out. I prepared a new texture here and also a problem that a lot of people have is that their textures load in colored and not with their original colors as you can see here as well. The trick here is to disable the shader colors, all color calibration and highlights on the left. And that's it. Now, as you can see, the placement isn't ideal yet. So I can work around that by drawing the hair from a different angle. If you don't change the material, you will see exactly if you're on the right track. And you can also see that I have actually two materials here, like two textures with a slight change. Each of these will serve for one of the sides. And I picked the wrong one at first, but it is an easy fix. I just changed the material. Now you change the format slightly by moving the line at the bottom to the top of its box to widen the strand a bit. That would also work with the width slider if your hair is laying on the side like mine here to make the earring bigger. And last but not least, we can change the strand on its own a bit by moving the hair points within. But for an earring like this, we usually want to get it as flat and straight as possible to not warp the image too much. You can then play with the position of the earring using the position sliders, but in my case, I think my initial placement wasn't too bad. Last but not least, we have to do the same on the other side and a little shortcut here is to duplicate and flip one side, but then remember to use the other texture or the other material with the inverted image, so they are both aligned the same. And voila, now we have a pair of earrings. And before you ask, no, this time we don't have to do anything in Unity afterwards. As long as you don't put any bones into these, they will stay exactly where they are, as you can see here. Subscribe for more tutorials and like the video if it helped you. I see you all in the next one. I hope you have a wonderful day.